Where'd the Smappy go? Hey, Lemon. There it is. I don't know why it takes so long to load in. <clears throat> the one you see is real. Yeah, we're gonna get it this stream. Notice, does anybody have one of them battery packs? My TV remote died and it's a real hassle getting off the couch to change the station. Well, maybe you should check Joja Mart. I'm always first for Stardew streams. Yeah, that's true. Um, throw these in. Just in time. Hey, Mr. Laughable. It's the big eating. He hasn't touched anything. Fuck you mean just in time. We just started. <laughs> I'm happy I got here when it started. That's fair. It's Friday. That means I have to check the wagon lady. Survival burger. Oh wow, battery pack. BRB, all right.
They kiss it. Everyone's just saying we're, we're just in time. <laughs> just in time. People will come in an hour from now and they'll just say, just in time. Hey, Blue Fangs. Tiyama, hey. How's it going? Hey, Swift Winds. Interesting, interesting thumbnail. Well, it's going to be the last one until we go to 1.6. I'll probably configure the furry mods and all that. But we're probably not playing RPG for a while. Forgot to watch Snoop Game Trailer. I deserve death and just finished it. Okay. Pam's over. Pam's by the bus station. I need to give her a battery pack. No way for mods to update. Yeah. There we go. $400. 400 gold for one battery. We are truly living in end times. Oh yeah, we gotta pick up my, uh... You know what, let's just grab the watering can anyway. If I remember where I put it. Just upgrade that. Oh, we still have the chance. I gotta get my uh, my trash bin from Clint's. I think the battery packs from Maru give the most hearts. Not the not the gold bar. Oh, if I click on a person, do they show? Okay. Very nice. I guess that it doesn't go any higher. Status girlfriend. Bunny GF. The coin empire keeps growing. It does. Now, every harvest seems to pay for an upgrade. <laughs> uh, like Olivia stunt jumps from the Wani trailer. Yeah, I really want to know what they were planning on with the original trailer, what that story would have been like. I think it'd be pretty interesting. Well, battery packs aren't scarce. I've gotten all those uh, lightning rods set up. So I don't really have to worry about much. Gonna put everything in here. We'll sort all this later or never. It doesn't matter. I have a uh, 
email. Nope, just spam. Right, yummy, I'm here just to like and I'll leave because of spoilers. Well, what spo- oh. I'm not even playing the new mod, or the new update. But okay, yummy. Wild big man. A nice birthday. <laughs> He's not the only one with a birthday. When I saw that trailer and how the writing bits seem different from the final it makes me wonder what the draft of Wani was all about. Yeah. It seems like it'd be a really... It seemed like it had the tones to be, like, way more lighthearted. More jokes. I don't know. Hey, Binary. That'd be cool if we got it as a bonus chapter. Yeah, like a bad dream or something. I don't know. Oh yes, dwarf scroll, what I don't want. Very cool. Is this the final Stardew stream? It's for the mod. The last mod stream, and then we're going to go to 1.6. I'm going to try. I don't think there's anyone going to be joining, but I'm going to make a 1.6 file anyway. Whatever happens, happens. I haven't touched yet the PDFs you gave me because I've been really busy today. I will read them, though, especially the mage one. Fang 2. Well, it's not just Fang's birthday. Chapter name and go drink the lean again. Just making supper right now, so maybe popping in and out. All right, sounds good. Oh, by the way, Porku, will you get kids with Maru or not? No, we're just going to do the marriage and that'll probably where we'll wrap it up. I didn't download the uh, Anthro Kids mod at all. Maybe I'll get all that set up for 1.6.
They look kind of uncanny. Human kids from furry parents. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Sounds like some apocalypse type shit there. What are you talking about? <laughs> Six got winter outfits too. Wonder if the model get new sprites. I don't know if it's like gonna be compatible or not. We'll see. The human kids from furry parents thing. <laughs> yeah. What is playing? Let me look at. Oh, one is playing again, and I can barely hear it. Here. It's Saturday. Um, yeah. Mike is scrappy. What do you mean? Oh, let me check. Now it's going through toner. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe refresh the stream? Cucumber. Okay, I don't know if I... Did I put... Oh, I must have put something there if there's nothing... That, yeah. Can I figure out where I put all these torches? That sounds different. Let me check if it's something. Yeah, it's probably you. No one else has brought it up.
It sounds... I don't know what to tell you then. It's probably OBS on its shit again. Nothing new. Just my keen ear, or whatever. Where's this music? It's more Wani Gator. It's uh, Night Walk from their album. I gotta, I gotta, like, understand that AP stands for me. <laughs> the game has good music. Yeah, it's like half good music, and then, like, the other, well, the other half is also good music, but it's also, like, one of those freeware music stuff. there's something blocked there oh it's wood okay i don't want to put it there but okay ap ain't that armor piercing are we implying something I don't know why I'm doing this with my world, even though I'm probably going to be tossing it. Unless I can salvage it past, uh, uh, just tossing the mods, if it'd still be compatible or not. I mean, if that's the case, we could probably continue. But I kind of want to just start a new file at the same time. to Porku if that's easier. Yeah, I think it is easier. Okay, plating BRB. Uh, it's just stupid knowledge about armor I got. <laughs> or ammo. Like it's that, it's that dreaded heart emoji blocking text again. torches very nice well back to the caves To 
turn this one down a bit. This one gets loud. If poor whoever downloads a mod or to make torches actually light stuff on fire. Yeah, we're not doing that. Now, this song only plays once in the game, doesn't it? But yeah, since it's Armored Porcupine on YouTube, I figured abbreviating it would cut typing time down. Now, people just say Porku or Pork. Arson mod would be crazy. Now I'm gonna stick with not committing murder. Jerk pork. Jerk pork. Yeah, that's if I do something you guys don't like and you cry about it. And I just, I skipped some uh, turquoise or whatever up there. Looks great. Wherever that jewel was. More like jerk chat. Haha. <laughs> Pork works. They pork chop some wood. No. Oh, look, they dropped my favorite thing again. Hey, Pork, remember to check out the Wani. The, the wagon lady. That's tomorrow. The Wani lady. Yeah, we're going to check out the Wani lady tomorrow. And we're going to hug her. And we're going to break up with the bunny. No more bunny GF. We're going to go with the Wani GF. Outside of all the high energy music, Wani OST is good to fall asleep to. Yeah. Is there music playing on this? Okay. Yeah, it's the soundtrack that's doing that. What animal is, even is the wagon? I haven't paid attention to that. I'll have to look next time. I'm going to 
turn it in. Because why not? Check on that. Yeah, we're gonna. You know, I'm when I'm looking for mods, I'm gonna see if I can find like a quick stack to chest mod. Cause that'd be so much better right now. How that wasn't in the new update, I'll, I'll never know. I feel like something like that would be a no-brainer. Imagine if there's a mod that replaces George with Olivia. There'll probably be mods out there, who knows. Give it time. Uh, did I even hug the pig today? It's a little too late for that, though. I'm just gonna sell. No, not those. Uh, sell all this shit. I don't care. I don't care no more. I'd rather want a, wa a mod that replaces George with the guy from Happy Wheels. <laughs> okay, so my phone has the gator emoji. That's cool. Now we just need to boot Shane out and replace it with Olivia. They both have gator depression. Oh yes, it is the it is time for corn. Amazing. Uh, get it? Amazing. Hi, pig. White hug a pig. I have to, like, pet the pig or whatever so it gains hearts and then it can find truffles or whatever. And I'll exit. I thought it was 665. I wish you probably check Wagon Lady. I know I'm gonna forget. But this corn is too good right now. <clears throat> I'm sure that works. Maybe that's why they chose him to be the gator. You wouldn't understand. He's got to drink beer because he's depressed. She's a bit sluggish. She likes you a lot, and she has a star on her eyes. Oh, the other games. No, oh, it just it. Oh. It said no to shuffling after a while. Don't ask me why. So we're gonna go from Wani to Snoop. <clears throat> yeah, they're way shorter. the axolotl one on YouTube once before I found one let me turn this one down a bit and my right eye has been bugging out for some reason it's been that way for like the past few days 
and I'm hoping it's just a fluke, a body fluke or whatever, because it gets kind of annoying when it just like throbs. Hope Coda Dev is doing all right. Well, their last post was like what a week or two ago. Actually, I scratch it. I think it was after the first couple of Yuan Evods. Why did I need to be cursed with the info that he is actually homeless? Well, he made that announcement. eye drops no it's not it's not itchy or irritated it's just it's throbbing like it's uh i don't know how to explain it kind of like how you have a muscle spasm where you see like some part of like your arm or leg start to like what is it pulsate it feels weird it's kind of like that right now in my eye So much corn, yeah. That's funny because I just went to the eye doctor like a week ago to get my eyes tested. So I'm wondering if there was something special in those drops. And I just won like the big pharma fucking jackpot to be cursed with some shit. I mean, I don't trust doctors that well. Who knows what they could have fucking put in those drops to, like, fucking make people sick so they keep coming back for more. I don't care if that's a schizo theory. I don't like doctors. You want to visit Newgrounds for one second? There's so much corn. is just like bugging out it's almost distracting all right wagon lady and then we'll go throw a gold bar at our bunny gf i think that's like a fox or either a fox or a bear dorado do we need a dorado think so. No. Let me skip that one. We listened to that one yesterday. Oh yeah, I have a vein that pulses on my head when I'm too agitated at work by customers. You should just dilate your eyes. That's what they did uh, at the, the eye doctor. I was doing eye tests and all that. I fucking hate when they dilate your eyes and then, like, you're, you become like a vampire and the sun just fucking kills your eyes. I had to walk home from that. And it was not fun. Tumblr die already, yeah. I feel that. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I gotta remember a gold bar. You know what? Maybe I should just take some ibuprofen or something. I don't know. Wait, what? Check. We did check the wagon lady. You weren't paying attention. 
action music in Stardew. Me too, man. And on top of it, my eyes are light sensitive to begin with. Yeah, same. I got I got a lot of my mom's genetics that I wish I didn't have. You forgot what she what she is. No, we talked about it. You weren't listening. Are you at now? No. Nope. Alright, tomorrow. I just tend to squint and trying to look. Yeah, if like it's a really sunny day, I have to have sunglasses. Or I just can't function. Man, my mom lives like a fucking hobbit. She'll have like the windows closed. Like, at least I have my blind. Oh, well, it's not light out anymore, but I'd have my. Bl uh, the blinds open and have the sunlight coming in. She does not like sunlight. <laughs> at all. God forbid I get that bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go take some ibuprofen. I'll be back. Work is secretly a vampire, no. People have made rumors about me like that in high school. That's stupid. His dad is probably Dracula.
Yeah, I could probably hurry. If I hurry, I can pick up some of our... Or is it my watering can? Oh, I'm talking about when the doc tries to check my eyes in general, even with dilating drops. I can't stare through the machine without struggling not to squint. Hey, Ramon. How can a watering can be more exhausting than mining? I don't know. Go back to the mines again. What else is there to do? Because pork yearns for the mines more than watering the plants, therefore he burns less energy while stewing so. Plant saps his energy to power the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell.
<laughs> we still have something in between the walls. That's great. Perfect programming. I guess we already heard that. Super Mario RPG. No, this isn't Super Mario RPG. Not even close. <clears throat> Coin money. I haven't even really put Super Mario RPG music on here because the tracks are so short. Either we're going to hit full hearts today and get the amulet or not. Too early. Let's light up the place a bit. First, would you be okay if I tried to gather a group for alien RPG on the server? Yeah, go ahead. Give her battery pack. It, it's already we looked at this before. We told you it's on the same level as the gold bar. I guess I can start sorting. 
and shit. What is that? Yeah. Throw that back. Um, uh, okay. Oh, now it's out of reach. Okay, never mind. Gold is really conductive, probably. Well, I've been checking out the tutorial scenario and thinking I may give it a whirl since it's something that can probably be completed in a single session. I'm still waiting. All right, let's sneak through the back. Oh. You know, I think I might just put my 1.6 file on the back burner because there's other games I do want to play too. Alright, this better be 10 heart, or all the hearts. Best friends. So that's probably them all, right? Okay, they are. So now we go... Go back. Dump all my pockets. We'll go to the amulet man. Pick up an amulet and we'll have our wedding. And that's almost... That's almost... Was almost under an hour, so... We do have some free time here. Break down the door. Yeah, it's Banusi time. That's mine. He's fucking dead. Imagine if the bunny says no. That'd be funny. Well, it's what everyone voted on. Mermaid's pendant. <clears throat> We'd be eating rabbit stew. <laughs> Cutscene. Hey, I was hoping you'd come by. Remember when I told you about the new project I'm working on? The big one? 
Well, it's finally done, and I want to show you. Follow me. Imagine you get thunderstruck during the dip, during the way. Uh oh, Maru's dad's gonna be weird again. And here it is, Maru's interactive laboratory device Alpha, or as I like to call her, Mar Mar Ilda. Don't fuck up. You can relo you can lose relationship points. That's true. I've been working on her for months. I was waiting for you to be here when I activate her. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Oh no, it's gonna go on a murderous rampage. Do not be mean. <laughs> Greetings, Maru. No need to respond. I have already predicted what you will say. Aha! I knew it! Ah, what is it? Dad, calm down. This is my latest invention. Marlil Marilda. Greetings, Demetrius. Sweet Yoba, it talks! This is why you've locked yourself in your room for the last few months? And I thought you were down here fooling around with porcupine. <laughs> Dad, I've been making this robot for you and Mom. Marilda is designed to assist you in the laboratory and Mom at the carpentry table. So when I'm not living here anymore, it won't be such a burden on you guys. Now she marries the robot. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Maru, but I do not want to be your servant. In the time since you've activated me, I have been pondering the nature of my existence with the self-awareness module you installed in my neural cortex. I am sorry to disappoint you all, but I must ask for my freedom. I've decided to explore the galaxy and search for other synthetic life forms. What? Wait! It's okay, Maru. Let Marilda go, th go free. Your mother and I can take care of ourselves. I know you're ready to start a life of your own, and I've come to terms with the thought of not having you around anymore. Besides, this creation of yours seems pretty advanced. It wouldn't feel right to keep her as a servant. Porcupine, I'm sorry I mistrusted you. You're a good guy. I've never seen Maru so lively and creative. And I've never been more proud of her. If you've had a hand in that, then you have my gratitude. Okay, Marilda, let's get you out of this stuffy hole. <laughs> right when it's raining. Have fun rusting! Thank you for creating me, Maru. I won't forget you. As it, as it proceeds to rust 10 seconds later. And then struck by lightning. I don't know, a yapping robot. My planet needs me. Look at her go. Well, what do you think, Porcupine? I'm so impressed with your inventions. I'm disappointed you should have made that robot your slave. So, you're, so your dad is okay with us now. Just stare at Maru and say nothing. Thanks, that means a lot to me, Porcupine. 
I know gadgets aren't really your kind of thing, but I do appreciate that you're showing interest in what I do. I wish I could return the favor somehow. You've got me on that night walk track on loop. Wait. You've got me on that night walk track on loop. Oh, from Wani. <laughs> no problem, Kisu. Alright, now we give her the amulet and we put this playthrough to end. Surprise! I accept. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? I'll be sure to forget. Is she gonna say anything else? I'm really excited. I'm going to be your wife. <laughs> Are your parents going to say anything? Reading, stay inside if you want to keep warm. No, nothing else. They don't care. They don't care that their daughter is going to get married. Fish. <clears throat> I mean, the dad himself said, I know you are going to start a life on your own. Easy fishing. Probably after the wedding. I could probably put on a different game after the wedding. Catfish. I don't think we need to turn in a catfish. Here, we gotta put donuts out. All right. What's the current population's population of rabbits right now? <laughs> Ten kids. I think you can only have a maximum of two before you have to get rid of them. Goodbye, Jerry. Zelda music really bringing back memories, yeah? 
Good times. Chub. Did I need to bring a chub into the community center? I still never finished a community center on any run before. I'd really like to do that. Tuna you get in winter time, I believe. Don't know where you get a wood skip. Sunfish. That bullhead. Chub. And don't we have... We have bullhead and we have a chub. So we're going to bring those in real quick. Fish. And speaking of Zelda and fishing, I played uh, Ocarina's fishing game a lot, too. Those were good times. If you put the cursor on the item and... Symbol. Does it tell you? Oh, I see if it beats. I see if, if this beats, if you're over, it tells you if you need it. Okay. It's subtle. Which one are we dealing? Not tuna, not wood skip, not sunfish, bullhead. I have to look for wherever those fish are going. Shove. I could get those two easily, I just gotta go back and pluck those out. Is it just me, or did Kirby music become forgettable after the GameCube? Those are the ones he wants. Yep. I sent one to the music channel. Play it. Flip what to the music channel? I don't take requests. You talking about Kirby music? Oh, just Top Gear. 98% of traditional Kirby games usually share the same exact melodies but had just different sound fonts. I don't know. I liked a lot of Kirby music. to try to get him to play something. Yeah, I don't really take requests. I'm sorry. You can call me Jerk Pork if you want, though. Well, speaking of Zelda, more Zelda music. Give me that bundle. Reward. Friendship. Wow, a recycling machine. Boo. Alright, um... Let me look up some of these fish real quick. Try and knock out these, uh... Fish bundles if we can. the sunfish spring and summer so it's long gone okay 
to be on oh, garbage cans during spring or summer. Sunfish can be caught regardless of weather, time, or season using magic bait. I think that's a 1.6 thing. If I'm not mistaken. No, it's in 1.5. Keys Walnut Room. How do I get there? West side of Ginger Island. How do I even get to Ginger Island? How does one acquire Ginger Island? After repairing the boat in the back room of Willie's Fish Shop. How do I manage that? Anytime after summer one of year one, after completing, wait, how, after completing the community center bundles, well, I can't do that. Well, that just defeats everything then. I, I'd rather, I guess I'd just go fuck myself then. Okay. <sighs> oh, what else we got? Might as well just start knocking them out. Wood skip. Jerk for Kirby after GameCube, yeah. <laughs> Porker, you need to listen to the DDD theme for Forgotten Land. I haven't played that one. The the car Kirby thing really kinda creeped me out that I didn't play it. <laughs> Okay, I can catch wood skip in the secret woods or the forest farm. Okay, the secret woods is uh, where I get the hardwood at. So we'll go there. Maybe. I might pass out. We could probably do it tomorrow then. I didn't, I didn't, uh, pet the pig today, so, so we'll do it another day. I'm going to give you this advance because I like you and I want you to stay in Pelican Town. If there comes a day that you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Don't worry, everyone in Pelican Town understands the significance of the amulet. It is an ancient tradition in this region. Good luck. Well, too late. Too late. Paint without the S. Mario paint. Nothing in here. Yeah, we're going to the woods to go fish. Party. 
is very bad over here. Why is it so cluttered? Awful. Get the shit out of here. stay in this town reproduce that would be interesting you can bang any girl in town as long as you have such a medallion reflect these batteries based indeed Well, knock on wood, but my eye isn't twitching as bad anymore. You know, suddenly when I went to go s lean back, now my eye twitches. I knew it. I knew I spoke too soon. Great. Maybe it is the way I'm sitting. I don't know. A wear bunny. Now I think about it, it surely would be interesting to see what abomination comes from a bunny and a wolf. Yes, the quiet track that I need to turn up. Burn off. That sounds like a sneeze. Alright, let's get that wood skip. wall basket seeing fish gifts out of here crazy carp i think we still need a carp Uh-oh, the slimes are gonna fuck. I'll now proceed pleasure myself with this fish. No. There's our wood skip. Let's bring it in. What the lack of a rabbit does to a motherfucker. <laughs>
of the Porkers teams in Pokemon were just no punny. No. when I'm just lacking a GF in general. A lot of us are. I should probably turn the music down. I'm sorry if that blasted people's ears. Let's skip. Done. Glittering boulder removed. Oh, nice. Dish of the sea. And carp. You get the lesser carp. Oh wait, I have to do all of these to get the glittering boulder removed. Alright, well, there's two more left. And that guy I can't get till next year. And I think tuna is winter only. And we're going to be, uh... We're not gonna have enough time for that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look it up just to be safe. And it's either summer or winter. That's great. Awful. Completely awful. Ooh. I do have one, but I don't have pomegranate. No nine tails. We already listened to this. Okay, it's time to like actually pick out a new song. back on the last day. All right. Um, I don't know what to do now. We've done all we could do with the packs. Actually, did they put the day on the calendar of the wedding? That'd be funny. Now the whole town knows. Oh yeah, the whole town knows. And we could probably just fish the day away again. Why not? Free soda. Like, where does all this soda come from? How is it all winding up in the lake? Tiger trout.
a container of soda fell into the river. Yeah, but it's like constant. There's like a constant soda supply coming out here. Head butterfinger to a Lando. Random sentence I found in YouTube comments. Sounds about right. said about a vein in my head pulsing it's happening right now that sucks Gas station food.
I don't trust gas station food. to drop off the slime. The fact that you have to see people already makes the job stressful, I know, right? TLDR, it's obligatory last minute order of the night made a bigger mess that I gotta clean up than I had before it. That sucks. Alright, last free day as a single man. I'll spend it going to the desert. The, gro the corn's gonna grow tomorrow too, that's gonna be the best part. along too. Final first page, yeah. Wani music decided to play. I throw the food together and I don't trust it. I wouldn't trust anything gas station related. Corn and Bernasi, best deal. Now I can feed my rabbit GF some corn. All the gor all the corn she wants. Fucking find some truffles already. What are you waiting for? Uh, the chickens even fed. Oh. <laughs> God, no wonder they can't go back in here. It's so fucking filled with eggs. <laughs> they can't even get to the to the fucking food tray here. My God. Why why did it shit out twelve? I don't need twelve. Unless did the pigs need feeding? Did he eat all of it? No. Why did it give me twelve? I don't think she only wants corn. She wants that cob. <laughs> oh, we already heard this one. There you go. Now we wait till 10. We'll do the desert dungeon and then we get married
No, she is. Oh, I could just do it right now. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Hurry up. seen enough corn for one lifetime. I like working with barley, though. Pokemon's for the desert mines. Well, we gotta do something with our time. Oh my god.
Where's the dino? Let's go. I want that egg. Uh, I already uh, put those in the museum, I guess. Remember to wear your drippiest outfit for the wedding. I think in this version it forces you to wear a suit and tie. In the new version, you're not uh, required to. Half of the final day has passed, yes. Thinking of maybe booting up potion permit afterwards just to get through some of that. I don't know. Gotta keep the cozy thing going. Iridium pickaxe looks so drippy. <laughs> I don't know.
This is just worse than what I got. Damn, you should be dripping. Nine a.m. in game. No, it's p.m. Oh, you mean dipping, not dripping. This will get out. This is a good haul. This game has really nice environmental sprite work. Never played Stardew. It's multiplayer kiss if. So if you ever want someone to play with, I'm always open. I've got over 300 hours into this game. I'm not quitting anytime soon. Now, Mary, we'll get to that. Don't worry. Get the bonus so yeah we're, we're we're we are working on it we're getting there i think he's in here Those, those are crap. Unless I can throw these in here. Okay, no, no. Oh, we'll just toss them. These are trash. I don't know why I was holding on to those. I sounded mean. What do you mean? I was gonna miss the wedding. No. All right. I need to turn it in. the song again our original that's time It just rips me out of bed. It just rips me out of bed straight for the wedding. 
When Porcupine first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Porcupine is going to be as much part of this town as any of us. It is my great honor on this day 25 of fall to unite, to unite Porcupine and Maru in the bonds of marriage. Well, let's get right to it. Porcupine, Maru, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the ma matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. <laughs> there's still there's still space between. That's not a kiss. That was like an air kiss. <laughs> Time for the corn harvest. Probably that too. Life is going to be different from now on. But the future looks bright. And here we are. Oh, you can hug, but you, you can't talk. You just hug. Bunny Bunny Sea Wedding. Alright, um... Yeah, we gotta harvest the corn. Oh shit. Oh wait, she's already got space back there, so none of this is going away. And then she's got her own room over here. Oh, nothing's interactable. That's sad. Yeah, let's take the bed. <laughs> Just put it right in. The future is wet and fluffy. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Alright, let's harvest the corn. People want the corn so bad. I like how it's just like just heart right there for wedding day. So you gotta upgrade the house to get kids, probably. There's no rush. We'll probably wrap it up after today and then uh, switch to potion permit for a bit until that game ticks me off or something. Bunny eats, bunnies eat corn. I don't know. I feel like they'll eat anything. Oh, Porky, what a big corn you have there. Yeah, <laughs> she wants our cob. some rabbit stew tonight <laughs> oh my god you people it is thirsty thursday after all tonight and forever <laughs> Thursday, thir thirsty Thursday. Yeah, it is. Thirsty Thursday. So, since when that has that been a thing? Have you seen my chat?
I'm aware, I just didn't know it was official. Well, it is on the channel. True, I'm thirsty, and I've got a special liquor as a birthday present. Well, happy birthday. Can't wait to see the Bonoffs. No, they're just gonna be rabbit children. That's how the mod works. It's based off of the partner species. I like how she's just standing there. Doesn't even doesn't even watch me. She's just She's got that thousand mile stare of like, she knows what's gonna be happening <laughs> every night. Every night she knows what's going to happen. Let's check the quarry real quick. I haven't checked that in a hot minute. Come on. She knows what's hiding in our chat. My birthday is in like a month, but my relatives come here once a semester, so they bring it up early. Oh, that's not that's not that, that bad. It's pretty neat. Early birthday gifts are always nice. Did I just say hiding? At this point, we aren't even hiding it, no. What do you have to say now, mister? How's the farming business going? It's corn season, isn't it? He knows. My goodness, this doesn't have to have... Oh, what are you talking about? This game's got, like, plenty of not safe for work mods for it. You just gotta go look for them. You're always welcome to visit, even if you aren't in the market for building an upgrade. No one, no one cares that I'm married to their daughter. I see how it is. Oh, 
was imagined shot as a little drone floating beside the streamer character. A stream, uh, a schizo drone that has many voices. That was a beautiful ceremony. Congratulations. See, at least Lewis recognizes what happened. It's not even nine already and I'm yawning. Are we mosquitoes? How do we get the bad ending music? Did you ever notice all the spider webs that appear during the fall? Nope. Maybe you should just clean your room. to drive by the time I'm back you'll probably be under the next game yeah it's all over until I update the game with mods I mean I could probably try and do that but I don't want to do it tonight I've been stressed plenty enough today as evidenced by the last stream I had <laughs> bad ending OST is good. Yeah, it's all good. Still not going to watch it. Do some fishing. I can't believe I'm taking steroids help. What are you doing, Bacon? Is it because of your, uh, illness that they got you on, like, some steroids? Another wall ba- why is it another wall basket? Another rage stream. We're not- we're not going out to be mad. I never want to do that stuff, you know? I am not a nice person when I'm angry. I'm not a very pleasant person. <clears throat> well, I hope the steroids are helping bacon. Totally not. Anything illegal. Yeah, totally not por performance enhancing drugs. So light this place up, yeah? There's a slime hiding there. Get fucked. Piece of shit.
this time much better, don't worry. Hopefully I can reduce the steroids from two to one. Yeah. A mod modificated pork. The steroids are just normal pills that taste awful, not gonna lie. I don't know how people get addicted to them. It's not addiction, it's like they do steroids because they want to get stronger. Thus, performance enhancing. That's not where I wanted that to go. The woods look a lot better when they're li lit up like this. A lot more cozy. Also, Pork, is there gonna be a fun throw the computer outside the window moment? Not today. People want to show muscles gained by shortcuts. Yes, they want they want the strong muscles. Yeah, performance enhancers. All right, watch. She's still outside. I bet you. No, she's inside. Is she sleeping? Go first night together, and we have the cat. Get off the bed, cat. You know what's happening. There we go. Hold on. No, she's gone. She's in the kitchen. Should we go to the Spirits Eve Festival tomorrow night? Oh, dang. That is a thing. Well, too bad we won't be going for quite some time. She's warming the bed for you. Anyways, I saw Stardew got updated. What's new? A lot. We're not playing the update, though. You're playing the mods that are supported by the old version. Also, I found a crazy scene. Students on Stardew with their phones. Huh. Is the update on phones now? Alright. Um, potion permit. Let's go. Goes for the milk. Well, <laughs> see you, Lemon. No one wants to enjoy potion permit with me. I guess I, I guess so. Saw like five people playing. Dang, it's a lot of people. I mean, like, randomly on their phones, specifically playing Stardew. Alright. So, we just cured a girl. Is there a way to zoom out? No, this is, these are the options here. What you see is what you get. Amazing. Repair needed. Okay, this is loud. Let me turn it down a bit. Good morning! Some people from the Medical Association have arrived at the town hall. You're not leaving, alright. They want to discuss something with you. Would you please follow me? Why don't you enable the third model from starring Porku for this game would be perfectly perfectly delivered the message of wanting to install Potion Cellar. Are you saying you want the VTuber thing on? There you are. I wasn't expecting you to be able to cure the mayor's daughter so fast. That's because I'm speedrunning. I must say we were rather surprised at your achievements. I have brought you all here simply to discuss what's next. Yes, I am aware of that. 
Could you give us a little more explanation? As you are aware, your chemist successfully cured my daughter. But now I have realized that what happened to Rue could happen to any of my citizens. Our knowledge here is very limited. What is that, Zen, what does that mean? A cute girl name. Is that supposed to be a word that's going to get me cancelled? And that is precisely why we need a person like you, Porcupine. To assist us with your knowledge. If I'm not asking too much of you, I would like your permission to let Porcupine help us for a while. So we can exchange our knowledge and strengthen the bond between Moonberry and the capital and stop our people from being racist. Of course, Mayor, our association would be glad to assist you. This cooperation could be stepping could be a stepping stone for both of us. Our priority is helping as many places as we can to safe to stay safe and healthy. Porcupine can stay here for as long as you need. Thank you. I gotta turn the music off in game. <laughs> I officially grant my permission for the medical association's representative to reside and work in Moonberry. And I, as a delegate of the medical association, give Porcupine a mandate to help the citizens of Moonberry starting from today. Well, this, is Im this important task is now on your shoulders. Go and do what you do best. Wow, congratulations. Well, you must excuse us. We have a train to catch. And a report to write about this milestone. Hmm, it is going to be a long report. I might leave it to you, Moria. B-R-B-E, alright. Come on, Colin, it's your job. Don't be so childish. Stop bickering, you two. We need to get going. Best of luck, Porcupine. Don't you let us and Moonberry down. Now, since you're officially staying here with us, we should discuss our next steps. I greatly appreciate all the effort you put in for Rue. My wife and I will be forever grateful. I shall need to make some major changes in order to prevent such diseases from taking hold in Moonberry. But as you know, not all of Moonberry residents are fond of people like you, people from the capital. And in order to make changes to healthcare here, we need to start changing their perspectives. We will need to work ex extra hard to bring them around. Some of them may be stubborn, but I assure you they are good people. Why don't you introduce yourself around the town? Well, that's what I was trying to do the last time. Yeah, a lot of yapping. I'm sure they'll start to warm to you once they know who you are. Or I could just poison their drinks. Trust. Trust reflects how well you are perceived as a chemist in Moonberry. Thumbs up icon indicates your current position of trust within the community. They gave me a Facebook like. Having a thumbs down icon will affect the way all the villagers treat you. They won't talk to you and won't be able to trigger any events around town. You can gain trust points by successfully treating villagers who need help. Failing on treatments will lose you trust points. Cool! Alright, gotta introduce myself. Chemist, how can I help you? I'm Zhao, I manage everything to do with community requests. I can assist you by posting them outside of the town hall. Oh, we're gonna do more yapping. That reminds me, I gotta turn that music down. Goodbye, music. Is it this thing? Oh, it's you. What do you need? I'm Opalheart. You might have heard of my blacksmithing wares. 
Hello, sweetheart. I'm Hel Helen. Helena? Helene? Helene, okay. If you're into games, we've got some at the Arcade Center. Teehee. Cat. Meet the cat. There's a tag on the cat's collar. It says Kips. This cat belongs to Zeke. Please do not feed. She has f she has food allergy. She's allergic to all foods. You must be the new chemist. You're from the capital, right? Don't worry, I've got no problem with you being here. This is Moonberry's farmhouse. We sell a range of dairy products. If this was a different game, you'd be in my position. <laughs> Everything we sell here is homegrown. You should try some of our products. They're great. See ya. Yeah, I have to feed the dog. I keep forgetting that. I feed the dumb dog. You. I'm the bathhouse o owner, Olive. You should get cleaned up. You get dirty walking around this town. Is there anyone else here? No. Chemist, I'm Osman, the chief of police. Remember, I'm watching you. I like how half of my audience left when I turned this on. Yet everyone loved me just sitting in the mines, just fucking zoning out. I mean, that's so riveting. <laughs> yes, are you talking to me? Those manners are just what I would expect from someone who is a dirty... From a dirty place like the capital. My name's Nova. With enough perseverance, I can fix your strange hair and outfit. you a new face i'm dean a police officer here in moonberry did you bring any snacks from the capital please let me have some don't tell my twin brother derek though because during the mines we were talking non-stop it was fun well i mean there's nothing stopping you talking here yeah, we're, we got uh, Snoop game music. Oh, hey, it's you. Oh, we're talking to Osman again. Got a moment? Well, we've decided we need some assistance tidying this place up. So I'm looking to take some help on. You see that board over there? You can sign yourself up there if you want to start helping us out. I thought this was potion permit, not police permit. Don't worry, we'll pay you for your efforts. Part-time work. You can spend your free time doing part-time work at the police department, church, or post office. Part-time work takes two hours. You will earn rewards for successfully completing it. Alright. Bet. We got two hours. The specific minigame can be played while you're doing part-time work at the police department. The objective of the minigame is to sort goods into their categories and the time given. You won't get any points if you put go goods in the wrong category. So it's just a sorting minigame, okay. Wow, this is so simple. Oh, we finished it? Okay. 
Oh, we get a little bit of money. Alright, no Dean. <clears throat> so are they starting to... Oh yeah. They're finally starting to open up here. We just need to talk to ten people, though. Which is crazy. If this was Stardew, it would have us talk to everybody. Oh, you're new. Yes, I'm Yorn. I own the tavern. Come and pay us a visit sometime. Oh, and now he's inside, too. Hey, you, what are you doing? Oh, you're that person from the capital. Welcome to my place. Now imagine if it was a visual novel. This is Moonberry's Tavern. We serve food and drink, and we have some arcade machines downstairs. Easily 50 people, yeah. If it was furry, feel free to drop by during our opening hours. There's no one here. Hi there, how can I help you? Getting bored of that old potion house already, huh? Well, I'm sure I can help make it more comfortable for you. It will be nice to fix that old place up. I'll just need the lumber and my payment. That won't be a problem, right? I already talked to her. Oh, I guess talking to them uh, gets them a little bit more trust points. Hey, I'm Rainer. I'm the carpenter. I wonder if there are carpenters like me in the capital. So if I talk to you again... I'm busy at the moment. Let's speak another time. Go to Town Hall for one between 8 and 15. We could still make it. Hopefully. Here, no. Good day to you, Porcupine. If anyone is rude to you, don't take it personally. I hope you like this simple town. I've baked far too many cookies lately. I do hate do hope Mayor and Rue can eat them all. Leave. You need to leave. Alright, said for oh right here. So you've met Moonbury residents, great. Now let's discuss the most important part, shall we? Slave labor. You might have seen that some of them aren't welcoming you with open arms. There's a reason for that. In the past, an accident occurred here that was the fault of the chemist. It did such damage to some parts of the island that our native plants went extinct. In the wake of this, Moonberry banned chemists, especially chemists from the capital. Ever since, Matheo's family has been our only source of health care. Everything was going brilliantly. We didn't need chemists to live our lives well. Until one day, Rue suddenly fell ill. Matheo tried so many methods, but none of them worked. And that's when I realized it. There are problems we just can't solve by ourselves.
Maybe we shouldn't write off a whole group because of just one person. So I brought you here to see if you, a chemist, could in fact cure my daughter. And just as I expected, you did. I wonder what happens if I didn't. My citizens still bear the scars of what happened. But I hope you'll come to understand them better and regain their trust. I want to give you this. <clears throat> it's called an approval badge. Oh, I don't need your approval. It gives you permission to explore more of the island so you can gather more materials. I do apologize if this is all rather foreign to you, it's just one of our town's regulations. Your success in treating Rue is proof of your ability as a chemist. And if you can prove that you have other skills that you have other skills, I'd be happy to upgrade your badge to a higher level in the future. I'm looking forward to seeing you contribute to our town. Very nice. Badge. Badge 1. This badge can be earned as you prove yourself to be a good chemist. With this badge, you'll have access to certain areas around the island for your material needs. The only person who can promote your badge is the mayor of Moonberry. To prove yourself as a good chemist, you'll need to be assisted by the Medical Association. They can give you a letter of recommendation that will be useful to promote your badge. Okay, well... Looks like we're freelancing it for a bit. Got nothing to do. Probably be a good time to uh, get some resources, huh? Actually, where are we on the map? Yeah, keep going. I gotta remember the fucking mouse thing doesn't work. Or it does, but it's like, it's not inside the screen. Who are you? Hey, I'm Bubble, one of Moonberry's rangers. Our duty is to watch for any trouble happenings outside of the town. Don't worry, I haven't spotted anything dangerous recently. Okay, talk to you. Hey, chemist. Do you need some help? Forrest, nice to meet you. Feel free to ask me anything about the wild. Good day, chemist. Heading out. Don't forget to bring some supplies with you. Any particular materials? Oh, this is probably loud for you guys. Any particular materials they're looking for? Have a look around, but be careful out there. Alright. Oh, I keep forgetting the slimes fucking mutate. He needs to be fed because he's dumb. Yes. 
I have a mushroom, I guess. Okay, why can't I hear this one? That's like really quiet. Well, and of course I click off the game. Very nice. Like it just begs you to play with a controller at this point. What is the name of the bad ending OST? Uh, it's uh, Oh Miss uh, uh, Oh Miss Halford. That's the bad ending one. Uh, Cutscene. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's nothing. We were just talking about all this. This landslide has been blocking the path for quite some time. We used we used to forage for materials further down the road, but now access our access routes are pretty limited. Clearing it away, you'd be able to travel further and find more materials for your potions, I suppose. If you have supplies, maybe we could help you out. We'll need a few resources and probably a strong fishing net. How about you find someone in town who can lend us what we need? Well, it looks like we found a quest. Thanks, gods, all pro tags, and visual novels are time space manipulating wizards. So even if we fuck up, we just rewind it, yeah? Go to Lazy Bull Tavern, ground floor. Well, it's so cool that it tells us where to go automatically. If there's even time for that. Travel point. You can fast travel to any travel point indicated by this red banner. Well, why didn't they tell this sooner? To do so, you'll need to activate the travel point by interacting with them. Once they've been activated, designated points will be registered on the world map. You can teleport to any pre-registered points available on the world map. However, you won't be able to teleport while you're inside a building. Cool. Welcome back, Swift. <clears throat> Another cutscene. I know, right? What a waste. I agree, Miss Runehart. Hmm, a visual novel that locks you after an ending for an entire day so that you're left alone with your thoughts about the ending would be dope. Hey, porcupine. What were you yakking about? Or what were we yakking about? We were just talking about the fishing nets that we got from the Primrose Sail. I'm a loyal customer. I use their nets to haul my heavy blacksmithing materials around. Our police department uses their nets to capture wild animals during patrols. They are very sturdy. Too bad their stock is always limited. I get it. It must be difficult to make such a high-quality net. If only they could produce more, our lives would be much easier. I second that, Miss Runehart. You look curious, Porcupine. Are you thinking about getting one? You'll have to go to the Primrose Sale, then. I doubt they'll have any left. Good luck. Good day, Porcupine. Oh, how rude of me. My name is Martha. Nobody in Moonberry is unkind on purpose. Please don't worry about it. I just need some more time. Let me know if you need any help around the town. Especially if you need directions, I've got lost a lot when I first arrived.
Okay, right, so you're the chemist. Smaller than I expected. I'm Runeheart, Moonberry's soon-to-be legendary blacksmith. Now, where did I put my tools? Have you seen them? Everyone is doing their best for this town. I'm grateful that I'm not alone. Your fashion sense is very peculiar. I suspect it's just a matter of different cultures, but still, hideous. Wow, thank you. Why are you looking at me like that? Welcome back, son. Man, I'm full. Wait, come back. What's your name, lady? People call me Captain Dan. Do you want to become me crewmate, or? It's loud. Welcome to the Primrose Sale. Oh, it's your matey. What do you need? A sturdy fishing net. We're all out of stock. Don't give me that look. If you're really hankering after one, ask Otter Otmar on the first floor. It's him who used to make them. Maybe he's got a spare. If the tides favor you. Our nets are pretty popular, huh? Hello, porcupine. Why are you here? You want Otmar's steel fishing or Otmar's steel fishing nets? Many people want Otmar's nets. Otmar is so happy. But this is the last one Otmar have. Can't sell it. Maybe porcupine trade for something. Need more stock for the beach cafe. Honey and seasoning for tasty corn. Here, Otmar made list. When Porcupine bring them, Otmar give last net. Otmar will wait. Wish you luck. We know. Oh, we just need... Wait, did we grab everything? I think we grabbed everything. We just gotta fucking find them. Oops. I like how there's fast travel. So what's happening? We're doing odd jobs. What one's in here? Probably 
sleep for the day. Another cutscene. Hey, porcupine. What did you think of how the new building looks? Isn't it great? Rainer here helped install some important stuff. You hear that sound? Loud and clear, right? I'll sound the horn whenever one of our residents falls ill and is brought here. That way, you'll be notified when you have a new patient. Hi there, chemist. I hope you like my handiwork. I reckon I'm all done here. Time for me to go. Thanks for your help, Rainer. Anytime, Mayor. Chemist, if you'll excuse me. How wonderful that you now have a suitable space for your patients to recuperate in. I shall tell everyone to come here whenever they fall ill from now on. Please do treat everyone with the utmost care. I trust you. Don't let me down. Hunt Leo just finished 24. Alright. If you fail, well, we're all one big family here, and if you hurt one of us, you hurt all. Well, time for me to take my leave. Have a good day, porcupine. Clinic unlocked. Moonberry residents who fall ill will be brought to the clinic automatically. You will be notified clearly by... A horn sound in the morning, as well as a strobe light indicator. You can also upgrade your clinic at the bulk and build. Each upgrade will serve to benefit you and your patient. Amazing. Now let's see if we can upgrade anything. It's like right up here. Farmhouse. It's way over there. It's probably got to be some more fast travels around town. I hope he knows about the epilogue. He probably will. yet at eight all right Where are you? you're the hobo get over here yes oh the chemist I'm Zeke this town is lovely isn't it it's better than the capital in every way chemist do you like cats you better. Okay, hobo. Have you tried Yorn's root beer? I'd highly recommend it. Zeke's tent. It's more like a hut. <laughs> oh my god, that is a lot of wood. Upgrade. That is a lot of materials. 
and money. I barely get paid. Hello there, Sugar. The name's Hannah. I know you're cute, but don't I look fabulous? Oh, my hair? Fabulous, right? I dyed it myself. Goodbye. Excuse me? Are you free right now? Ah, it's you. Thank you for your help back then. I'm Rue, the mayor's daughter. Nice to meet you again. Porcupine, what's your favorite color? Mine is red. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed. down here. Nothing, just more houses. I still have to find Otnar. Hello, dear. How is your day going? What is down here? Good day, chemist. Heading out? Don't forget to bring- yeah, you, we already know that. I see you're already repeating lines of dialogue. Very cool. Have you seen the giant bears in Meadow Range? They're cute, right? I love their fur and claws. Nothing in here. I think I might end the stream after today just so I can go eat. Be back on tomorrow with pro maybe more Stardew with Blaze. I'm not entirely sure. Hungry again, you dumbass. Stop being hungry. Feed yourself. You're a dog. You're resourceful. You'll eat anything.
where the fuck do I find them? Oh, there he is. <clears throat> Otmar, say hi. Otmar, don't like chemist. Leno, don't like chemist. Otmar trying his best to do good, move away. Otmar busy, Otmar need to work. Oh, you have a quest, buddy. Porcupine. You got all the items, yay. Let's go back to Otmar's place. There it is. Here, the fishing net is yours. Hope Porcupine happy with it. Let me out. Thank you. Can I actually fish with it though? That's the that's the thing. No, it's a key item. It'd be funny if I could fish with it. Got your stupid net. No quest. Really? So do I just wait till tomorrow or something? I need more resources. That is so cool. Well, that's not happening anytime soon. The pixel art style kind of reminds me of Golf Story. I've looked at that. I haven't played it, though. Why am I blocking? I should be teleporting. What's that look on your face? Must be the first time you've set eyes on an old seafarer, eh? I'm Lino. That's m that's me shop on the beach. Even though I was a stern seafarer in the past, me love of the island is real. is only useful in the hands of someone who needs it. And look who it is, the refugee from the capital. Just remember that I, Derek, am watching every move you make. You said you came here to help out. Uh, do you expect me to believe that? switch what do you have anything to report do you need something I'm not gonna lie some of the talking stuff is just dumb a lot of people just don't say anything that means anything Greetings, friend. I'm Luck. So you're from the capital. Would you tell me more about it sometime? Hello, Porcupine. Today is a today is great. Don't you agree? Uh, 
I got a feeling we're probably going to get our first patient tomorrow. Leo has to suffer through all the endings before getting to the epilogue. Well, he deserves it. <laughs> if you get in the best ending, you're, you're going to have to suffer even more. I'll probably turn it in. I'm getting hungry. Sleep. Watch, watch. I'm going to go outside and it's going to ring. But I'll be for next, next time. No? I'm clear? Okay. Well, I'm going to go eat because I'm hungry. They finally made... They made it. They finally made it an MLP version of Olivia. I feel like that's already old news. But yeah, I'm going to go eat. I'll be on tomorrow. I'll see you guys there. Hope you all have a good night or good morning, wherever you are.